What is going on, Virgo? This is Shen catching you on DTWJ Life. Hope you're all having a great day. How you doing? <laughs> I'm about to get into your reading for the Chiron Retrograde, which is going to be lasting up until December the 6th. Um, and then after that, we're going to get into the Mercury Retrograde, which is starting on the 17th. Um, phew, eventful, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> That's a bit crazy. It's a bit crazy. It's okay. <sighs> But, ooh, I hope you guys are doing okay. I'm kind of getting that some of you are holding on tightly <clears throat> to something or a loved one, um, something that you put a lot of value into, that you see a lot of value in, um, and that you're actually right in doing that. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, I, I guess I'm still trying to overcome being sick, which is why I'm tardy, so I do apologize for that, by the way. Ugh. Yeah, by the way, the Chiron Retrograde is uh, representative of the Wounded Warrior, not the Wounded Healer, so you know. Hold on. Oh, God. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Woo! Telling you, man. Yeah. It's so funny, because I was sick for a week. I got better yesterday, only for me to get sick again last night, and that kind of sucked. I've been uh, having a lot of that emergency stuff, which is really good. I like to put it in jello. There you go. You got a nifty idea there. <laughs> you want to boost up your immune system and feel better? Yeah, put it in your jello. It's freaking awesome. You can even mix it with your coffee if you want, and it tastes delicious. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay this is apropos the reason why that you're holding tightly onto all of which you do value uh is because it is the winter okay it's winter time like you couldn't tell from the snow <laughs> but it's winter time right now you know th this is not the time to be planting new seeds even uh analogically right or metaphorically no reason to be planting any seeds at the moment, but let's see why. What's going on for the sign of Virgo during the Cap um, during the uh, Chiron retrograde? Please. Why did I want to say Capricorn? That was weird. For oh, freak's sakes. Why? That drives me crazy. What's going on for Virgo? Ah. I'm going to reserve that. Thank you. Okay, understood. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just need two more clarifiers. Okay. Hold on. Thank you. I just need two more clarifiers. Oh, wow. Now it's coming out right away. That's good. Alright, I'm going to pick out a third clarifier for that one, because what the heck? Okay. Interesting. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. It's just uh, I had kind of a, a sneezing fit. Felt like my face was exploding, but I am back. Oh my goodness. Okay, the cards went nowhere. I still have them all in order. Your first card coming up. Is coastal water inverted? Okay, this is a judgment point here, okay? Uh, court card. It's letting you know that uh, either an emotional or financial set of sustenance is quite shallow right now and um, maybe something that you need to work on at the moment. Clarifying that first clarifier is breeze upright. Uh, you're going to be met with a lot of compassion that's going to be psychologically sound, uh, receiving messages that are going to be psychologically sound as well. Despite the fact that Mercury is going into retrograde on the 17th, um, you're still going to continue receiving this, these messages. They, it just may come slower, or there may be a problem receiving them, but you're still going to receive them regardless. Okay, second uh, clarifier, fruits inverted. Uh, you're not exactly going to be um, gaining fruits from your labor just yet. 
So whatever labor it is, whatever this means to you, be patient, hold on, okay? Uh, keep taking care of yourself, keep nurturing yourself, because like I said, uh, during the Chiron retrograde, it's the uh, wounded war, it's time to be the wounded warrior, okay? There are some things that you're going to have to work through in order to get this right. Second card coming up. Your daily set of sustenance is, co is coming up correct, which is good. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, anything pertaining to making money from your job or your business. That is actually holding down quite well. Um, things that may have been a problem are going to be reconciled as secrets are going to be revealed. Things are going to be discussed. Okay. Okay, I had that the wrong way. Got it. Some of you, though, might be feeling stagnant because you feel like you have no choice but to, um, you know, fix things or to move forward with a situation. Some of you might feel like you need to, like, move on from a situation instead of moving forward with it. But um, the problem with that is it can affect your sustenance in tandem with the present card, court card. Okay, you're gonna, you're lacking direction in making that decision to move on and away from something. Instead, you need to fight. You need to fight to correct whatever situation this is, even if um, it's the other party's fault. You still have to fight to correct it. Um, if it's if it's with yourself, work on your confidence. Some of you out there may be lacking confidence and. That's not good because you can't move forward with something if you don't see it happening. Work on envisioning it to happen. Uh, third clarifier, Father Vera Upright, in tandem with Breeze Upright, you're going to be receiving messages with compassion, yes, um, but from your higher power, whether that's, you know, God, Goddess, okay, any type of energy like that, you're going to be receiving the messages that you need to be receiving, and the reason why. Conclusion card, Fate Upright, another court card, and this has to, everything, this has everything to do with your sustenance, like I said, be that emotional or financial. This says, I am controlling the uncontrollable, do not be ignorant of me, be on your guard. What I see here is Jupiter, that's all about expansion or expanding part of yourself that needs to come out. Jupiter is going to be conjuncting with uh, Sagittarius, which is going to help you to see the more creative side of things, to let the creative side of yourself out uh, a lot more, okay? Uh, also, it's going to, by doing that, it's going to help you to become a lot more confident, okay, so that you can face the things that you need to face uh, within yourself and also within your um, immediate atmosphere. Okay, guys, um, I hope that you had gained something from this reading. I enjoy doing it for you. And if you need a personal reading done, hit up the information in the description of this video. Yes, there's a lot of information there, but I'm assuming that you do need it. <laughs> so until the next video, take care of yourselves. Much love and light and blessed day.